Hey guys, very excited today to bring you another pre-release unboxing. This time we've got some WizKids Pathfinder Battles Jungle of Despair minis. And I've got uh, one brick, which is eight boxes. And let's just crack them open. First mini. Whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> it's a uh, skull totem, basically. <laughs> Just a spike in the, or a stick in the ground with some skulls on it. So, cool little piece of terrain. I don't know. I haven't uh, really looked at the set, so I don't know what's in it. And second one, we've got... Hey, this guy's cool. He is a Morlock Cleric. And he's got like an alligator skin on his back and head. And I guess that's a holy symbol, perhaps. And a bone sword. So, that's definitely different. I like that the Pathfinder Battles minis have the uh, names pr printed in white on the bottom versus the D&D uh, ones, which are just stamped on there and they're kind of hard to read. Uh, this looks like some sort of a worm. It's a giant leech. Cool. See all of his mighty incisors. And then for the larger one, we've got a lion. Seems a little small. But uh, still pretty cool. All right. One down, seven to go. Let's see what we have here. This looks like a Mykonid or not. This is Tanuki. Well, it's like a looks like a red panda figure, or like a Shaolin panda, Kung Fu panda. Pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, I don't play Pathfinder, so this is, could be like a named character out of one of their books or something. But I don't play Pathfinder, so I don't know those. Here we have a Cobra, Metal Cobra. Cool. And here we have a Elven Druid. Pretty cool, pretty uh, standard garb. For a druid. And the Thrall of Angazan, which is like a Gorillion. Got a nice big wooden shield, big cleaver looking thing. Four arms to beat you with. He's cool. See what we got in number three. Woo. 
Here we have a Venom Demon, who is like half man, half crab, and half octopus. Octopus for a head, giant crab claws, and mostly humanoid body. Very interesting. Ooh, I like this guy a lot. This is a Morlock. <laughs> and uh, it's a really simple paint job, but it, it looks really good. I don't know if you guys can really see the detail. But uh, just like the uh, pinkish wash they used over it. Makes all the muscles really stand out, and his eyes look good. Really cool. I hope to get some more of these. Here. A ravenous clip-off. He's pretty cool, too. They put a gloss coat varnish on him, so he's nice and slimy looking. Cool. And here we have a murder vine, which is the, I assume, the Pathfinder version of the assassin vine. So we've got a skeleton in there with all kinds of vines growing out of it. So this is good just for terrain, too. Make your uh, players uh, paranoid about something that's not actually har harmful. All right, number four. This looks like another Morlock. Awesome. I'd like to get about six of these. Ooh, this thing's cool too. Uh, this is a creeper vine. So similar to the murder vine, but smaller. And this one has some uh, like floral blooms on it, or it could be mouths, I'm not sure. But yep, yeah, chomping on a skeleton. And here we have a human arcanist. Pretty cool, he's got a giant spell book. Wow, this one looks awesome. So here we've got a Quattel. This is probably the coolest Quattel pre-paint I've seen. They didn't use super bright colors to make it look cheesy. And, uh, it's got the like nicer kind of uh, clear flight stand on it. Definitely dig this guy. Awesome. All right, we're halfway done. Five. Ooh, this is a river drake. Pretty cool guy. Dig that one. Oh, here's some more terrain. We've got, oh, that's weird. Oh, cool. It's an anvil, but it's got the, like, orange clear uh, plastic inside. And I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see through that design there. 
So it kind of looks like it might be glowing internally. And that's got a design. Oh, on the top too, yeah. I thought it was just printed, but you can actually see through that as well. So that's really cool. Definitely a good, uh, I don't know, quest item. Man, this guy is cool. A winged chupacabra. He's awesome. I think overall the Pathfinder minis seem to have a better paint job than the Dungeons and Dragons ones as well. Very cool dude. And here we have a tiger. I don't even have to look. Bounding through the air. Tiger. Uh, I guess that's probably about right. It's a small tiger. All right, three more. Eagle, or it's called an eagle. But very nice. Here's a lizard man or a serpent folk hunter. Pretty cool. It's got his bow. And here we have another archer, it looks like. Well, this time it is a Azata Wilder. No clue what that is. And earlier I was saying that the paint jobs seem better on the Pathfinder ones. This would be an exception to that. This does not look good at all. But for the most part, I think the Pathfinder ones are better. And here we have a shambler, or a shambling mound, essentially. Definitely cool. Love plant creatures. Always good to have these. All right, two to go. good sized one in this one here we've got a vulture I thought it was another eagle but uh, yep totally different sculpts That's cool. I don't think I have any vulture minis. And here we got a giant ant. <coughs> Excuse me. And this looks like a bat, perhaps. Nope. This would be a Sabosan. <coughs> mm, excuse me, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, don't know this one. Some sort of demon creature. Cool. And then this thing. An infectious clip off. Well, he is freaky.
giant mouth. Really weird looking eye. Little mouths on his tentacles. <coughs> All right, one more. Serpent Folk, Serpent Folk Rogue. He's got a hand crossbow and a big dagger. Nice cloak. Cool. And here we have a sprite. No, a pixie. cool paint job on this actually it's not just like the wings aren't just like blue or purple they're kind of blended together looks pretty nice cool and we got another serpent folk hunter so the only uh, doubles I got in the brick where I got two of each of these guys so that's good and then finally we've got a Kieran it looks like they forgot to paint his eyes on this one there's a spot for the eyes but there are no there's no paint or wash or anything like that that's an easy fix though uh, he's pretty cool i'd say my favorite is probably the quattle and the uh shambler oh, i like this guy a lot too though And my least favorite is probably the Kung Fu Panda. Oh, and the, uh, I really like the uh, anvil and uh, little totem. Let's see if they have a, this has a name on it. See anything? Nope. And I do really like the uh, Morlocks. So yeah. One break. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of these. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for uh, the next one. Where I will show you guys. The new Hydra case incentive. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.